Okay. Beta. I'm gonna show y'all boys where I'm from, man. I'm from that. Morning, y'all already know what it is. That big boss hog, boss dog, can't poke through the dope. Here to talk to the box, fuck it in my soliloquy. Remember, tough times don't last, good people do. Don't love yourself. Caught him in that high line, remember you mad up. He gave, he gave, ready for us on what? Swing. Man, my car's shining, man. You know what I'm saying? So, if you want a car wash, you know, y'all let me know, man. Down here in this Texas, I got a partner. Well, him, my partner, but, you know, uh, this dude named Edward, man. He he do car detailing, man. He, he official like a referee with a whistle. So, y'all let me know. I'll plug y'all in. You know what I'm saying? For the people down here in Texas. But it is very thorough and it's very affordable. You know what I mean? So, and, you know, he, he he's very detailed in his work, very professional. You know what I mean? Does a great job. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I could show y'all my car. That much shining, bro. For real. But, let's get to the nitty gritty. The Hate Judge of Arthur Tank Davis Part 2. You know, I did a video talking about Javante Tank Davis and Lamar Roach. And, you know, everybody in the comment section was crying. And I'm going to say this again. If you a sack chaser, go lava, meat gobbler, a man of 2024, this ain't the channel for you. All right? A rainbow boy, an alphabet boy, this ain't the channel for you. This the channel for the real. You're a fan of fighters. This ain't the channel for you. We're a fan of boxing. And this on this channel. Alright? So that's just what it is. I don't give a damn. I stand on my team when it comes to stuff like that. When it comes down to just having integrity. When it comes down to just being solid. I don't give a damn about likes and views. If you ain't moving right, you can't be over here. And that's just what it is. Now. Back to regular scheduled programming. The hatred of Javante Tank Davis. I've been noticing an influx of people who have a big issue with Javante Tank Davis. Oh, why didn't he go fight Teofimo? Teofimo Lopez can't fight nobody right now. He's in a legal battle. Oh, why didn't he just go up to 140 and fight those dudes up there? What fight he gonna fight at 140? Liam Paro? He's not even a big name. He's a champion, but he's not a big name. And uh, uh, and this how I, this how I know y'all contradict yourself. Did y'all say Javante Tate Davis only fight Latino fighters, right? That's what y'all said. Y'all say he only fight flat-footed Latino fighters. So now he fight black fighters, right? Now y'all want him to go to 140 and fight Liam Paro and and the other dude. You know what I'm saying? Those are not big fights, right? When he went up there and fought Mario Barrios, he did go up there and fight Mario Barrios. That was a test run for him. Y'all remember what he said. I don't like how I felt at 140. That's why I'm coming. I came back down to 135. He said, I don't like how I felt. But he continues to get this backlash, right? He continues to get this backlash and you know, oh, you, you know, he, he, he could have fought this person. He could have fought this person. What are he supposed to do? Sit out the ring? And why is it he got to sit out the ring? But boots, right? He saw Eddie Hearn, and when I sat there and said, "Hey, man, I don't like him signing Eddie Hearn. It's time for him to get big fights." Oh no, nah, he needs to fight often. So why is it different? for him but Tank he got to fight I, I don't understand it and it's not like he didn't try to fight these people he he tried he reached out tried to fight these dudes all of them said no well, I, some of them said I'm not fighting till next year some of them just simply said no I don't feel like it so what is he supposed to do This is one of the reasons why some of us like fighters need to fight more often. Fighters like Earl Spence. Fighters like Terrence Crawford. They fight once a year. He's trying to fight. He's trying to stay active. That's what he's trying to do. 
He also knows, hey, if I stay active, I keep fighting, I stay out of trouble. Y'all forget this man was in jail, right? So he has the understanding of, hey, I got to keep fighting. That's real talk. His mindset is, I have to keep fighting. I have to. I got to keep fighting. I got I to gotta stay active. You know, because if I'm active and I'm fighting, I'm not idle. My mind is not in idle mode to the point where I want to go do some crash dummy stuff. Now, granted, I don't think Javante Tank Davis is at that point. Me personally, like, I think he's grown and matured. But you never know. These are things that he said in the past. I try to keep fighting so I can keep myself out of trouble. So all I'm saying at the end of the day, what is the backlash for? He tried. He did everything he could to try to get big fights. Nobody want to fight him. Everybody's saying no. So what is he supposed to do? This is what I'm talking about. And another thing. I'm cooking right now. Another thing. When you look at the greats, the Floyd Mayweathers, the Manny Pacquiao's, right? We just talking about the greats. They never had to go down or go up. Or, they had to do that. With Tank, y'all want him to compromise his A side and go down. Oh, he filed my mom. Why don't he go down to 130? I didn't hear that same um, motion for Shakur when he was finna fight Joe Cardina. Yeah, he faced some criticism for fighting Joe Cardina, but I ain't hear nobody say, oh, Shakur, you need to go down to 130 to fight him. No, he just got ridiculed for fighting Joe Cardina. That's it. But Tank, oh, man, y'all saying he can make 130. Well, why don't you go down to 130 and fight him then? It makes no sense, bro. You mad at him. <laughs> you ridiculing him for no reason. No, I told y'all. I'll agree. Was this the fight I wanted? No, I wanted him to fight Lomachenko. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like that's, a, that's the biggest fight in boxing. It's him versus Lomachenko right now. You know what I mean? That would have been phenomenal. That would have been, you know what I'm saying? That would have, that would have, that's another level. But y'all didn't want that fight for Tank. Because if Tank potentially beat Lomachenko, what does that do for him? It validates him. That's why they trying to hurry up and, oh, man, which he's already validated, but it takes him to another level. That aura that he has, it takes him to another level. Because now you didn't beat Lomachenko, a fighter that a lot of people respect, a lot of people they call the technician, the matrix, all that. He beat him, right? If he was to fight him and beat him. So then they'd be like, oh, that will validate him even more, right? So they really don't want that fight. That's why they going here and saying, oh, he old. He old. He be the old of a chicken. He should have fought him back in 2018 or 2019. There's no better time than now. Lomachenko's a champion. Javante Tank Davis is a champion. That's the biggest fight in boxing right now. That fight eight, nine years ago or whatever years ago, six years ago, wasn't a big fight. Javante Tank Davis wasn't even fighting on pay-per-views then. So then what? This is stuff I'll be talking about. The double standard in boxing. But to get back on topic, when you looked at the floor made with, even Canelo now, right? They don't give up their A side. So if Terrence, I mean, I tell you, if Javante Tank Davis said, hey, the weight is 135 or 138, and you sit there and say, oh, I don't want that weight, then she, with Floyd, he was like, you don't want to fight. It's that simple. Floyd going to move on. He's going to be like, you don't want to fight then. Okay, next. Canelo, same thing. They like, hey, if you want this fight, this is the weight. This is this, this is that. Accept it or I can move on. Why is it with Tank? Oh, you got oh, you got to go fight on, on, on the zone. You got to go over here if uh, uh, Turkey Alasik 
and you you he got to do the all these unrealistic demands for he the ace out he the one that's the star he's the one that's selling pay-per-views he the one that's knocking people out and it's the crazy thing this nigga knocking people out bro now granted he's not the only one that's knocking people out Arthur better be got a hundred percent knockout ratio is he a bigger star than Tank? Tank must be doing something right. It ain't it ain't all hype. They talking about, oh, he a hype job. But Arthur Better Bill got a bigger knockout ratio than him. There's other fighters that got bigger knockout ratios than Tank. Why is Tank a bigger star? It ain't because he a hype job. He fighting good fights. Nah, uh, is he fighting elite fights? No, but he fighting good fights. He fighting good fighters. You know what I mean? And the crazy part is these fighters, y'all critic ridiculing his resume. It's a couple of them fights y'all pick the other dude to beat him. Y'all did. It's a bunch of man. If I if I do a video, bro, I could do a video on my comment section showing names and showing all these people. Who just sat here and said, this person gonna beat this fighter, this person gonna beat this fighter. It, it'll be it'll be crazy. A lot of y'all that have egg on your head face, pause. A lot of y'all be exposed. This dude right here is arguably the face of boxing. This dude right here fights entertaining fights. People come out, see him, want to fight. Why? Because his fights are entertaining. He's fighting good competition. He ain't fighting slouches. He not doing, he's not doing what Shakur be doing. He backing up everything he's saying, and that's what it is. But it's just like, I don't understand the logic for the hate. You know what I'm saying? This real talk. This ain't no like oh, <laughs> this real talk. I, I don't. I really don't understand, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now I get it. You saying you don't like the fight? I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? I, I can respect that. But the other ridicule, or you know, you saying this, you saying that about Buddy, like I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's your opinion. I respect your opinion if you say I don't like the fight, right? I'm not a big fan of the fight, but I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Lamar Roach ain't no slouch, bro. He ain't no, no trash fighter. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and, and cap be like, oh, he sucks. No. The dude a good fighter, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a good test. Lamar Roach is bigger than Javante Tank Davis. People, when they try to use the weight, oh, well, he fights at 130. He's taller, he's bigger than Javante Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? Truthfully, Tank can make 130. He just feels more comfortable fighting at 135. You know what I mean? Because he kind of can eat a little bit. Fighting at 35. That's just real talk. But all this other stuff, man, throw that stuff in the trash, bro. We got to keep it a thousand. We can't keep sitting here capping like this, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not sitting here telling you to be a fan of Tank. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm a fan of boxing. I respect Tank. I respect his fighting style. But I'm not here to allow anybody to put certain narratives on fighters. They did this with Errol. They want to put jackets on fighters. They trying to do that with Lomachenko. Now they trying to say he owed the fact that Tank want a fighter. This man openly ducked. Javante Tank Davis. He openly said no. Just no. And and yeah, y'all was cool with that. That stuff don't fly over here. You know what I'm saying? You when you when you're a fighter, you know what I'm saying? When you're a fighter, hey, you take that fight. Cause I guarantee you, if uh I would fool fly flu fly said Loma Chico, I would have I wanna fight you, Loma Chico be a training camp right now about to fight, buddy. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna keep it a thousand. If 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 Loom Flip if Loom Flop said, hey, Loma Chico, I wanna fight, Loma Chico be in training camp right now. But because it's tank, 
I don't feel like it. I, you know, not right now. And that was cool. Nah, bro. I'm still gonna smoke that boy for that. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You duck and smoke, bro. You ain't got. I get it if you had a fight scheduled or you got something in the works. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But you ain't got nothing. Loma Chico had nothing lined up. Nothing. And he just, no, nah, I don't feel like it. And that was cool. Let Tank say that. Any black fighter, let Terrence Crawford, let anybody say, oh, I don't feel like it for the rest of the year. I'm telling you, they'll get ridiculed. They'll get cooked. Body bag and toe tag. I'm telling you this. It's a double standard in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Boss need to get their mind right, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone.